Royal Enfield has announced the pricing for the Himalayan in the U.S. market. The Casa Brown variant will be priced at $5,799, while the Slate Himalayan Salt and Slate Poppy Blue options will be available for $5,899. The Hanley Black version is set to retail for $5,999. However, the company has yet to disclose the pricing for the Upper Tier Summit model or the Summit model with the tubeless wheel set. For over 124 years, Royal Enfield has maintained a consistent approach to motorcycle design, particularly since 1956, when production began at its Chennai plant in India. The brand's models have consistently met the needs of its primary Indian market while also capturing interest in Europe and the US. Significant developments have occurred over the past few decades, starting with the introduction of the Unit Construction Engine UC, in 2008, which was in production until 2020. This was followed by the launch of the 350 cubic centimeters J platform, 411 cubic centimeters L platform, and 650 cubic centimeters P platform engines. Despite these advancements, the air-cooled singles and parallel twins still retain a strong connection to their heritage. However, the 2024 Himalayan represents a significant departure from tradition, featuring the most modern engine and electronics package the company has ever produced paired with a chassis that outperforms all previous models. Remarkably, not a single part from the original 2016 model has been carried over to this new version. It's fitting that the Himalayan is the first to receive this new engine, given its global success. When it was first introduced in the US in late 2016, it was priced at a remarkably affordable $4,499, and even today, it has only risen to $5,449. Few motorcycles can match its blend of style and performance at a price that's often half that of the least expensive machines in the adventure segment. It was the perfect moment for Royal Enfield to elevate its game by designing a fully modern motorcycle that embodies the latest in engineering while preserving the character and charm that makes its lineup so appealing. We recently had the privilege of attending the global press launch for the Himalayan in Manali, India, right at the edge of the Himalayas riding through the very terrain where this significant new model was conceived and developed gave us first-hand experience. We also had the chance to engage with the entire development team, who were present to support the event. Our mission was to answer two key questions. Is this the best value in adventure motorcycling? And is it truly a capable ADV machine? 2024 Royal Enfield Himalayan Engine The new Sherpa 450 engine is undoubtedly the centerpiece of the 2024 Himalayan. This engine marks perhaps the most significant leap forward for Royal Enfield in over 50 years. Several factors have driven this bold step forward, including the need to meet modern emissions standards and better position the bike against its competitors as the brand continues to grow beyond the Indian market. For the first time, Royal Enfield has introduced a liquid-cooled engine, enabling the Himalayan to deliver top-tier performance for its intended use. The engine has a bore and stroke of 84.0 by 81.5 mm, resulting in a displacement of 452 cubic centimeters. It features a forged piston within an aluminum cylinder coated with low-friction nicosil and the compression ratio of 11.5 to 1. The four-valve head is equipped with dual overhead cams, and steep downdraft intake tracts efficiently deliver the air-fuel mixture to the combustion chamber. The electronic fuel injection system utilizes a 42mm throttle body with ride-by-wire control, and lubrication is handled by a semi-dry sump design. Power is transmitted through a wet, multi-plate clutch with slip and assist features, connected to a six-speed transmission and chain final drive. The primary objectives were to enhance the engine's performance for highway riding and overtaking, which necessitated a boost in power. The new engine delivers 65% more peak power compared to the previous model's 411 cubic centimeters air-cooled engine, with torque also increasing by 25%. The claimed output is now 39.6 horsepower at 8,000 RPM, with peak torque of 29.5 lbft arriving at 5,500 RPM. Unlike a 450 cubic centimeters motocross engine built for maximum top-end power, the Sherpa engine is designed to provide a broad torque curve across the rev range, making it practical for both on-road and off-road use. The result is significantly more power in a bike that is 10 pounds lighter, dramatically improving the overall riding experience. 
2024 Royal Enfield Himalayan chassis. In addition to the engine upgrade, the chassis has been significantly enhanced to complement the new powertrain. This is hardly surprising, given that in 2015, Royal Enfield acquired Harris Performance, a chassis specialist known for designing and building racing machines that competed in the 500 cubic centimeters Grand Prix and World Superbike classes. Harris Performance also played a key role in developing Royal Enfield's sporty Continental GT. The new Himalayan features a twin spar, tubular steel frame, and a steel swing arm. The front suspension consists of a 43mm inverted Showa SFF fork with 7.9 inches of travel, replacing the previous model's 41mm right-side-up fork. At the rear, a Showa monoshock with preload adjustability offers 7.9 inches of travel, an improvement over the original Himalayan 7.1 inches of rear-wheel travel. The bike is equipped with 21-inch front and 17-inch rear wheels, fitted with 90-90-21 front and 140-80-17 rear tires. While our test bikes were equipped with traditional tubed aluminum spoke rims, tubeless cross-spoke wheels will be available as an option. Other key dimensions include 9 inches of ground clearance, an increase of nearly half an inch, and a wheelbase of 59.4 inches, a 1.4 inch increase, making it about an inch shorter than the Kawasaki KLR650 and approximately 2.5 inches longer than the Honda CB500X. The front-end geometry features a rake of 26.5 degrees with 5.0 inches of trail, ensuring stability. Braking is provided by Bybri, a lower-spec Indian market brand owned by Brembo, with a 320mm disc in the front with a twin-piston, traditionally mounted caliper with braided steel lines. In the rear is a single-piston caliper and 270mm disc. The Himalayan comes with standard dual-channel ABS that can be turned off at the rear very important to prospective buyers of the Himalayan and any adventure bike, really, is seat height. There are two available seats, including the standard and an optional low. Each seat has two easy-to-adjust height options, with the standard offering 32.5 and 33.3 inches, and low at 31.7 and 32.5 inches. The bike's available payload capacity is 436 pounds, which should give you an idea of how much junk you can strap on the Himalayan. 2024 Royal Enfield Himalayan Electronics Diving into the Himalayan's electronics shows just how much more modern this bike is than its predecessor. The bike now comes with ride-by-wire throttle control, which has opened the door to multiple ride modes including four possible combinations, performance slash ABS on, performance slash ABS off, eco slash ABS on, and eco slash ABS off. The modes alter the power delivery, not the output. The modes can't be switched on the fly, so you'll have to choose your option when you start the bike, and then come to a stop to change it if you were transitioning from asphalt to dirt and want the rear ABS disabled. The portal to access the modes and all of the bike's other electronic gizmos is through the brand new Tripper Dash, which is a round 4-inch, full-color TFT display that offers smartphone connectivity, media controls, and full map navigation with a Google-based navigation engine. The dash gives the rider the option for multiple views, allowing the most important info to be displayed as desired. 